Hey guys, hello, hello, half a day. How's everybody doing? For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Sharice Kellum. I'm a wife, a mom. I work a regular seven to five job. <laughs> I normally say eight to five, but really it's seven to five. And I'm an entrepreneur. So as you guys come on, say hello, say half a day so I can say hello back. Um, if you are watching me right now and you see that red live up on top, that means we are live and we can chit chat tonight. If you do not see the red live up on top, you are watching the replay, but that's okay. Hopefully you can take um, something from this little chit chat tonight. Half a day, Kelly. How are you, sis? Buenas, Nan. Hagumas. <laughs> so tonight, guys, I just wanted to talk about... Um, some of the struggles of being an entrepreneur that people don't normally talk about. So first things first, anything worth having takes some work, right? So just know that if you really want something, as long as you're, you're trying your best and you're do, taking the steps you need to take, um, you're that much closer. Okay, guys? It's not um, a walk in the park every day. It's not flowers and rainbows every single day. Hey, just said half a day. Hello, Nanny. How are you? Malik Nanny. <laughs> Hello. So like I was saying, guys, it's not a walk in the park every single day, you know, but we can always find something positive about our day, right? So like if you are an entrepreneur, did, did I say this already? I don't remember, but if I did not, if you're an entrepreneur, Drop a number one in the comments, uh, or if you're thinking about it, drop a number two. Hey, Ashley, half a day, Nan. Um, I'm going to try to stick with the script <laughs> because as I see you guys come on, I tend to forget what I'm talking about. But um, there's there's a couple of things um, when you're an entrepreneur that you that are like little detours or obstacles or little bumps in the road so to say like um for example the first i think the very first thing as an entrepreneur that um you will realize is like family and friends don't support you i've had that a lot of my um girls have come to me and they're like i can't get my family to support me some of my best friends won't even like my stuff you know what i mean stuff like that hey jazz half a day nine that is completely normal guys that is normal until this day, some of my family does not support me. Some of my very close friends do not support me. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, guys. A lot of times um, your friends and your family, they're a little bit nervous for you. They're kind of like, oh, Sharice is doing something again. You know, what's she getting into now? You know what I mean? But um, you have to stay focused and remember exactly why you started doing what you're doing whether it be um a new sport in this case i'm talking about uh you know being an entrepreneur but in whatever it is it can keep your mind focused at what you're trying to do that's the most important thing because um at the end of the day it's it's your goals and your 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 situation your deal that you're trying to accomplish right um, to be honest with you guys, most of your greatest supporters will be complete strangers. Complete strangers. I want to say 80% of my business is supported by strangers that I, that I met online or at a vendor event or, you know, through one of my posts. Hey, Clarissa, half a day, Nanny, how are you? Complete strangers will be the ones to root for you guys and support you so um we're in a different era now you know back in the day we were taught don't talk to strangers you know don't uh <laughs> these days you know be selective be smart be smart you can't just talk to anybody but you can tell the intent you you know what i mean use your best judgment hey anna half a day hello sis how are you um, I'm just kind of talking about being an entrepreneur. <laughs> um, if I say the word wrong, if I pronounce it wrong, do not bash me, guys. You guys know I cannot talk for nothing. Anyway, another um, struggle is being consistent. It's, it's a struggle being consistent, especially if you have a job, if you have kids, if you 
all kind of things. It's a struggle. It's, it's a struggle because as an entrepreneur, you're in charge of yourself. You don't have a boss to tell you, oh, clock in at this time, clock in at that time. Hey, Scott. Hello. How are you? So you don't have a boss when you're running your own business, right, guys? It's very easy to be like, oh, I'm not going to go live tonight. I'm not going to do this because you don't you don't have to. Really, you don't have to. But if you're set, if you set a goal for yourself, try your best to stick to it because in the end, who's hurting? Yourself. You know what I mean? And I've experienced it too. I have I've had my ups and downs. I've had months where I did spectacular and I've had months where I went downhill. All because of myself. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hello. Um, and it's because of my decisions and my choices that I made, you know, who knows, um, you know, everyone knows I go live Saturday nights, maybe through the day Saturday, I had a whole list of things I was doing and I procrastinate and procrastinate and procrastinate. And by the time it came for me to go live, I was too tired. And guess what? Sharice didn't go live. And guess what happened? That's, that's a strike for me because I'm only hurting myself and my business. Um, so consistency is very important guys showing up online, whether it be online or in person, you need to be consistent. Um, that is very important. It is a struggle, but it's important. Another thing, um, is not reaching a goal that you set for yourself. So we can be very hard on ourselves when we don't reach a goal. Hey, Deborah. Hello. Well, I, at least for myself, I know I'm hard on myself because I know what I'm capable of. I know what I can do and I know what it takes to get there. Hey Vanessa, hello, how are you guys? Thank you for joining me. And um, when I don't reach my goals, it's because I, I chose not to, basically. So, and that's a very um, irresponsible decision on my part. And I'm working on it, I'm still working on it because I still haven't reached the goals that I'm trying to get to and it's because I'm not working as hard as I should or I don't have my priorities in line. Believe it or not, guys, <laughs> I'm still working on that. So um, not reaching a goal, it, it's very frustrating, but um, um, I, I always try to take something positive out of any situation. So do that. <laughs> it's hard on that one. It's really hard, but you have to try to stay positive, guys, because you know, you, you feed off of the energy, right? So you don't, negativity is not my jam. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not here for the negativity. So even though I know that was a, a bad thing and then I try to re, uh, what do you say? Like come back from it. Like I try to do something to, to fix that. Another, another thing is comparing yourself to others. So that's that's one thing that's going to be a big obstacle is when you're comparing yourself to the next person guys just remember like everyone has their own time everyone has their own pace everyone's you know everyone's has a different kind of lifestyle and is dealing with different things so don't be so hard on yourself and compare yourself to the next person who is doing the same thing or you think is doing the same thing you're doing because Everyone has their own path and everyone will move at their own pace and because it's, it's all up to yourself. It's up to them. It's up to you. So, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? Don't compare yourself to others. Move at your own pace as, as, as fast or as slow as you can and um, you'll, you'll eventually get there, guys. So that's it. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about a few of the struggles that I have been through. I've been through all that. All of those things that I've mentioned, I've been through everything. So you are not alone if you are going through those things. It's completely normal. I'm still alive and I'm still going. And I hope you are too. I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.